Hey there, good morning, uh, foxes. Uh, this is Miss Rinkin. Uh, today, what we're going to do is something super cool. Uh, we're going to work on a Celtic uh, tree of life. Uh, I know this looks kind of difficult, but actually, I'm going to show you a few pointers that are going to make it pretty pretty easy to do and open to your own interpretation so that's important I remember when you're doing these art starters that this is just my interpretation of a way to create art and I hope that yours comes out somewhat different uh, because we all have our own ideas and so um, you know branch out on this so to speak alright so the Celtic tree of life is something that's been around for a long time the Celtic tree of life is a symbol it has many different interpretations. Um, Tree of Life is a representation of harmony and balance in nature. Uh, the Tree of Life to the Celts symbolized strength, um, long life or longevity, and wisdom. The Celts actually believed uh, at one point a long time ago that they stemmed or they came from trees and so when they died they went back to the earth. So. Um, what we're going to do is for this particular drawing, you're going to need uh, a 4x4 four four piece of paper. You're going to need your wonderful eraser and you're going to need a pencil. And so I'm going to go ahead and get started. You're also going to need a template of some kind of something round. I am using a dinner cup and I am going to make sure that it is even all the way around. And then I'm going to pull my pencil around this to create our template which is a rounded circle and one of the things that you need to see about the Celtic Tree of Life is that it is very balanced and that's the whole purpose of the image is for the balance. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so you guys can see this and so when we see a tree there's just as much underneath the tree with the root structure as the top branches so this is um, how we're showing balance with the Celtic art of the tree of life is we're showing both. So what you're going to do is you're going to start in the central area and you're going to work on your tree trunk and uh, for the most part the tree trunk is kind of a hourglass shape and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see a little better as I'm working. And you're going to begin by branching out with these curly kind of branches and one of the things you want to do is not break the border of the circle so as you are working and you can give yourself if you want to some branches to go off of before you start so we have a little bit of openness you know in this particular image negative space is is again very very important so you're just going to begin by making some branches coming off and they're always really swirly, really curly, almost like octopus arms or worms, okay? And then they might butt right up to the border of your circle, but not go over. All right, so we've got that going on, and we'll go back in and we'll put some branches. Same thing with the bottom. Um, at the bottom, if you want to, you can go ahead and make a heart and uh, you don't have to but this is kind of a design element and I'm going to begin by making the first root of my tree interlap with these with this heart and then from here I'm going to just again branch off and we are paying close attention not to go over that border and we are just creating as we go this curvy root structure underneath and this is normally what we would not see because it is under the earth but it is still very much a part of the strength of the tree I know in several of the hurricanes that you guys as well as myself have, have been through here in South Carolina the root structure sometimes holds the tree into the ground alright so that's what we have going on here and another thing with this is uh, the twisted element of the Celtic knot is seen through the tree trunk which is right here so we're gonna begin by making these twisty lines kind of like if you were doing a candy cane you know how they have the twisty lines and you're gonna make sure and leave those so that they show up in your finished image 
And then last but not least, you can go back in with smaller areas and put a few leaves onto your tree, you know, to symbolize that it is a tree that is blooming. It is a living tree. And we are just going into this and adding some more branches onto it. And you guys, you know, this is one of those things that can take off and you can just completely do your own thing. You do not have to stop, still frame this, and copy mine. This is open to your own interpretation, and I hope you do awesome with it. I think that this would be one of those things that you guys could really, really benefit from learning how to do. Alright, and then once you finish that, the next thing would be, obviously, would be to go ahead and start inking. And I would be careful I can outline first if I want to and I'm making the edges of my tree. See how I'm leaving a separation there? That always is interesting. You can if you would like to but you don't have to. But I'm just going in and putting this root structure and outlining. I'm going to leave a little spot right there and begin just working into this and this is basically how you would create the rest of your drawing you would go in and outline first and when you're finished with your outlining I'm going to show you one section I'm going to outline this center area right here and then I'll fill it in I don't want to take up all day but I do want to show you what I'm talking about. So see how I outlined that? The next thing I would do is go in with my marker or my pencil, whatever you have available, and begin to color in these areas. And this is just simply a black and white image. A lot of people use this as a, a tattoo of sorts. Um, or you see this on jewelry, rings, different different things seals um, and I mean not like the kind in the zoo but like stamping seals <laughs> let me specify all right and then you are fill, filling this in so the last step of your Celtic tree of life is to erase and so once you are finished here you're simply going to take your eraser to give it a nice professional look and I'm just erasing the center because that's all I've finished on this one there we go and give it a nice professional look and I'm going to zoom in a little bit more to show you guys what I've done here alright and I'm going to zoom back out and I'm going to again show you the finished one next to the one that I'm working on so here, let me. There we go. And again, I hope you guys enjoy this. This is an example of a Celtic tree of life. And I encourage you to try and do your best, but come up with your own design. And I hope you guys are having a great day. And I hope you continue to.